main reason we're here today, especially in the city of Maricopa, is, is kind of important to us. It's concerning to us in the city of Maricopa in, in lieu of uh, the tragic events that happened a couple weeks ago. Loss of life is always a hard thing to discuss and it's a hard thing to bring up. But at the same time, uh, everything that we do, especially in law enforcement, is a learning event. The two tragic collisions that occurred here in Maricopa both involved lack of wearing seatbelts. The leading death amongst all teenagers was fatal traffic collisions. The ages from 15 to 24 are 10% less likely to wear seatbelts than adults. Seatbelts do save lives. Seatbelts are important. And as I spoke a little bit ago, teenagers watch what we model as adults. And we need to model good driving behavior. About 50% of our uh, arrests involving impaired driving revolve around the use of prescription drugs. Those that use prescription drugs, please consult with your doctors to make sure that operating a motor vehicle is appropriate. It's very simple in the city of Maricopa. There is no reasonable speed for texting while driving. That reasonable speed is zero. We need to demonstrate that to our children. The agencies behind me and the men and women who serve with these agencies will be out in force. I want to emphasize the fact that our primary responsibility is not to punish and not to write tickets but it is to remind people through visibility and through traffic stops and educational opportunities to drive more safely. Everyone up here and the men and women who work for us are family members as well. We're parents, we're husbands, we're wives, we're grandparents. When we respond, when our men and women respond, it hits us too. We are parts of those communities. The best way to model love to all of our family members and loved ones is to remind them. Driving is a serious event, and we love you, and we want you to take that event seriously.